Hello, BCOM class. I'm your instructor, Tim Park, and I'm excited that you're here. This class is going to help you be a better communicator. If you find a manager, owner, president, CEO of a company that is not a good communicator, they're probably there for some wacky unknown reason because people that are in charge usually are the better communicators. They don't shy away from communication. They don't shy away from conflict, but they definitely want to be able to solve problems. And usually when you solve a problem, you've got to be able to communicate that to someone. That's the reason why I think this class is really, really important professionally and personally. We're going to be doing some exercises to help you be better communicators. But the number one thing that I get from my students about the class is they really like doing the mock job interview. And all that information is in the intro videos. Don't hate me because of the videos. I've got to go into detail and I think that's just the best way to do it. You can put the video under the, under the bottom of the video screen, there's a little sprocket. And if you click on that sprocket or whatever, you can change the speed of the video. Sometimes I'm a little bit slow because I'm from the South. So you can speed the video up and get through it. Still hear it fine. You can speed it up to one and a half or even two times original speed. And it'll help you get through that stuff. But pay attention because I give you a video number that you will need to answer some questions about the videos later on. The, the mock interview will really help you understand your weaknesses and we're going to really focus on making your interview the best that it can be when you have to do it. So I want you guys to be kind of worried about the mock interview as far as uh, I, I don't want you to feel like it's something that you can just blow off because if it's more real to you, the more you're going to get out of it and the more you're going to understand when I stop you and say, oh gosh, don't chew gum, don't pick your nose, or whatever. I, um, I think that's enough for today. So I need you to get into the course space, look at the syllabus, look at the class schedules, dive into the videos, don't do them all at once or it'll melt your brain. You've got until next Monday. Some of the course material might say, You've got to turn it in on Sunday, but you've got until next Monday, the 22nd, on everything. And everything's going to be due on Mondays instead of Sundays. I thought I would give you an extra day, because most people make everything due on Sunday, to uh, get some of this stuff done. And that'll be through the rest of the course. Uh, make sure that you do the uh, discussion board post. Post a video if you want, or a picture, and jump into the lessons. I'm always here to help. I've had a few students text me already today, and today we're not even supposed to be working. But I do want you to be successful in my class. I will do everything I can to pull you along or push you along as it may be. Of course, I won't uh, make it easy for you. But, well, I don't know if that's true. N nothing that we're going to do is, should be super taxing to your mental capabilities because it should be common sense. And all it takes is effort to do well in the class. Okay, good luck. And again, I'm here to help you be successful. We'll talk to you soon.